Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again with another Game Finds video. Sadly, this one is going to be very small, so I will get some announcements out of the way right straight off, just in case, real quick. Uh, first announcement, I will be sending those packages out by the end of this week. I am hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I am so sorry, guys, to the winners and to everybody who has not seen them, you know, them get them yet. I have just been very tight on funds recently. So it's been very difficult to send out anything regarding anybody. So I apologize to everyone who's waiting. You have not been forgotten. I have your addresses written down. I have the packages basically ready to go. I have them filled out, signed, dated, all that crap. I just need to pay for the shipping and handling and get it sent. So that's my bad. I am very sorry to everyone there on that. So I, I have not forgotten you guys. Do not fear. I've just been tight on the funds area. Uh, second announcement is uh, we will... Game Finds is definitely going back to its former roots of flea markets and Goodwills, not so much of Craigslist. I don't know if it's the same for everybody else in the area, but Craigslist is just dried up for us here in Oregon. A lot of the video game, I get a feeling that a lot of the retro game stores here are pulling out, like picking the deals out of us from underneath us. So we are going back to more Goodwills and hopefully we will find more stuff. So anyways, all this stuff came from one store. It's not much, but it is Goodwill finds. Um, we've got a good little set of games. Sadly, it's only like five, six games, so we'll just breeze through it real quick. It's going to be kind of small. First things first, I picked up a, a NES, a Nintendo title. I picked up Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I picked it up for four dollars. Not bad. Label the labels in good condition. Card needs a little cleaning, not much, but four dollars for Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, next up. That I picked up for seven dollars. It was seven, but I'm collecting the series, so this is just gonna stay. You know, this is definitely staying with me. And I didn't mind spending seven instead of like the twelve, fifteen I normally would have spent on this. I picked up Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, it came complete. Manual is in fantastic shape. It's just freaking, just like it's never been taken out of the damn thing. So freaking beautiful. I love Resident Evil. You know, I'm collecting the series, as everyone knows. So Resident, Resident Evil Outbreak, I still need the second one, but the first one has been gotten. Yay on that one. Right there. And the last set of games, it's, I know, not much, guys, I'm sorry. But hey, it's something. Uh, the last set of games are a bunch of actually sealed PlayStation games. And they each cost individually $4. Now, there's nothing really to write home about, but it's still cool to find sealed PlayStation games. First one I picked up was Street Racquetball. And as you can see, it's still got the little tag, you know, tag on top. It's covered in the plastic. It's still got the hang tab right there. But Street Racquetball, $4. Snow Cross, still sealed, $4. Very nice. Ultimate Fighting Championship, sealed. Very nice. And the last one is NBA Shootout 2003, sealed. So that's it, guys. Uh, just not much going on. Uh, just been tight on funds as well, so haven't been able to spend as much. I am going to hope that I send out those. I am going to aim to send those packages out this Friday, though, so no worries, guys. As soon as I can, I will send them out, and hopefully that will take care of everybody. I'm so sorry about that. I am glad we're, good to, we're going back to more flea markets. They seem to have gotten new stuff. A lot of vendors that were there that were kind of assholes to us in the past have left. They're gone, especially one guy at one flea market. I'm glad he's gone. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry it wasn't much. We will aim for a definite bigger game finds next weekend, hopefully, and I will try to send those packages out, and I will let everyone know by messaging them that when they are sent out. So thank you, guys. Have a great week, and have a good Mother's Day.